Someone that, just say kitty. That was nice, darling. Are we going to walk to the bus station and get the bus home? <laughs> or do you want to get a taxi? I, I, I prefer taxis, actually. But there's nothing wrong with the buses in Spain. Nothing at all. I want to go and play on the beach. I thought you were cold. I'll be alright once Now that the sun's gone down. <laughs> once I get moving. On the other side of the road we've got the Hong Kong Wok. Oh, don't tell me these gits are open now. Hong Kong Wok is, uh, is a really good restaurant. It's uh, eat as much as you want for a fixed price. We go there a lot. I think it, it looks closed. This is where we wanted to go this evening, but um, it says closed for vacation. The Luna Bar. It's a beach bar we, we go to now and then. Restaurante La Luna. What? Out of the wind, otherwise, I won't hear you. Oh, yes. Well, I'll tell you something very interesting about this building. Go on. This is um, a prefabricated building. This, what they used to do, um, don't know if you can get the whole thing in, but it's quite large. I mean, this, this would be a very impressive house to live in. And what they used to do was dismantle it is only here for the season and then it, because of the storms that come and then they thought sod it we'll leave it here all through the winter and it's been just fine and it's right here and we get some vicious storms in the Strait of Gibraltar and this is the U-Bend right here this is where it all now my plan is one day we're going to buy a piece of land and buy a prefabricated building just like this and they come with everything in them solar panels, electric, everything, ducting. Um, and here in Spain, you can buy a building like this for about 25,000 euros and live like a king. And um, a lot of Spanish people have been doing exactly that all of last year, so much to the extent that the Spanish government are now thinking that people who do this, they're gonna put heavy taxation because they're like, you're getting a five-bedroom, four-bedroom house for a fraction of the cost, etc., etc. And you can put a building like this without what the full planning consent here in Spain. It's done on a license. I know all about this. I've been looking into this. And, um, yeah, this is a particularly nice one. They've extended on it. It's on piles, wooden piles. It used to be just a shed. It was... It, no, this is the original one. No, it's evolved. This is a bigger one. Yeah, they put extensions on it. We came here for somebody's birthday party. We came here with years um, ago, base commander of Gibraltar yeah, Airport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I think that's that's the future, really. I'm going this way. Well, I want to get a shot of the building from this side. Oh, it's fantastic! And in the summer, we come down here a lot. In the summer, they have these uh, sun lounges all the way down to the beach, and they have those kind of coconut umbrellas. And we come down, and um, one time, there was a, I won't name him, but there was a particularly irritating member of staff at uh, Dolphin Safari. Oh, Valentine. I think you're in the wind again. I think they won't hear a thing. Let's go in the, in the shade. Here we go, darling. It's nice and quiet now. We need some microphones like uh, Paul and Mel. Yeah, well, one, one day, um, years and years ago, when the kids were little, Graham and I never had the same day off together. Um, but luckily, one of the gearboxes broke on the dolphin boat, and so that, that was it, you know. There was no work. And the bosses said, everybody go home. So we came here to Spain... And we were on a sun lounger with a large gin and tonic and the kids were playing in the sea and stuff. And then I heard the voice of this exceptionally irritating work colleague. Um, and I said, oh my God, it's not, is it? And of course, he got the day off as well and he came and invaded our space. I've never seen the kids 
begged to leave the beach so fast. They got dried off and dressed and went, Mum, let's go home. And so I took them home, left him with Graham, and I said, Graham, get rid of him. And um, hours later, Graham came back to the boat and I said, oh, well done, because he came alone. And he went, it's not that simple. He's gone to get beers and he's come out. I couldn't quite shake him. Oh, my God. He's gone now. Total nutter. Right. Home, James, and don't spare the horses. He was Spanish. <laughs> he was a lunatic. And we used to say to people, oh, he's from Barcelona, which is an English joke, a Faulty Towers joke. And he'd go, hey, 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 no, 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 I, I'm from Madrid. <laughs>